running is one of the best ways to lose weight and stay fit. Getting started is always going to be the hardest part, but once you get going, you'll never look back. The best ever Olympic Games transport. That's the official party line of the London 2012 organising committee. Stratford Station lies in the very heart of the development plans that seek to prepare London for 2012. As a running coach, I know that to be a better runner, you need to add strength and conditioning work into your training. Yes, that does mean lifting weight. As scary as it may sound, it really will improve your chances of getting to the finish line quicker and staying injury free. You may not realise it, but if it wasn't for Audi, ordinary motorists like us may never have had the chance to buy four-wheel drive cars. It's been nearly 30 years since Quattro first made its mark, but can it still make waves? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Have you any idea how quickly a greyhound can run 400 metres in? I have actually not been a nerd, but I've heard they run about 430 metres in about 26 seconds. Well, I think we should compare you and a greyhound. Fine. Are you up for the challenge? So up for the challenge. Good luck. Okay. He's going to need it. 3D support not only comes from the consumer electronics industry and Hollywood, but the telecoms market is now also ready to step into the 3D era, as Samantha Wood, head of 3D at Orange, explained at the Panasonic conference. Hello and welcome to the Edinburgh Marathon. Now in its eighth year, not only is it the UK's fastest marathon course, but it's also one of the most picturesque, which is probably why 14,000 runners are lining up behind me to take their 26.2 mile test of mental and physical endurance. So in the beautiful beautiful grounds of Gosford House, just over there, it's the 18 mile marker. Looking at my watch, in about half an hour the, the elite runners are going to be crossing over the finish line and we're going to be talking to James Gray in a little while, but for the time being, let's listen to his story. Well, we've seen what Quattro can do and how much fun you can have on four wheels, but you know what? There's still people out there who prefer driving on two. Mm -hmm. 